Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm just going to quickly show you how to uh, tape a box side off. I'm going to use some back taping methods and uh, I'm going to show you how to get the space between the cab and the box taped off so that you don't get overspray uh, from your paint coming through this area and up on the back glass and back of the cab. So normally what I do is on the front edge of the box side there's always the uh, spot weld area that attaches the outer box side to the inside. I take and run some two inch tape on the back side of that lip all the way down through the bottom so you've got your two inch tape flapping there and then I take a piece of paper this is just a short piece to show you what I do um, you want to fold it in half. So take and fold it in half lengthwise and have your sticky side um, of your three quarter inch tape out. And then you're going to want to take and slide that piece all the way in. And you're going to attach this edge to your two inch tape. So you're going to stick that to your two inch tape inside that edge and then this piece will get taped to the cab of the truck and that keeps any overspray from wanting to go through that paper. Um, I usually like to make the two inch tape sit just inside uh, the box side edge so that you don't get the paper flopping around when you're spraying and I also make it long enough so that when I wrap it down around um, I can tape the, the cab corner off so that we don't get overspray coming up under the paper into the cab corner. So that keeps um, all that overspray from wanting to cover your back glass and your back cab. Um, at the back of the box side here, um, I shut the tailgate and then, and then I run two inch tape along the edge. I just kind of slide it in there, tape it to the box side and then I fold it back and I two inch tape it down and you want to have a little bit of a space around that corner like run your fingernail through there so that when you spray you're not going to bring your gun around here and hit it hard you're just going to kind of fan it this way and that overspray will just lightly leave a mark that's unnoticeable at the top and then the same thing at the bottom where I've done some repairs I'll make sure I pull the tape back just far enough to where I'm going to put my color down and cover the primer area. And then same thing, I just kind of run my fingernail down through that edge and that pulls the tape away just far enough. And then I tape it back with the two inch tape to itself or to your paper so that you don't have any tape edge there. Okay, hope this helps guys. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button and uh, subscribe. Good luck.